this video might not end up having any point, but in previous videos, I've talked about how VS Code is really not all that bad and that there's some things that I actually really like about it and that I kind of miss if I'm being honest, not enough for me to go back to it. But one of the things that I miss the most is just how easy it is to find and install extensions. Like it's really easy. You just type in a search phrase and then it gives you a bunch of extensions that you can install and you click an install button. So I got to thinking about how could I do something like this in NeoVim? And so I started writing a plugin. And right now this is like in the super like alpha pre-alpha stage and it's pretty crappy <laughs> but like I got something working and even though it's total crap right now you know when you get kind of excited about something and you just want to share it with people well here I am sharing it with you all whoever you are that's watching this video <laughs> Anyways, so I've decided to call it Plink. First, I was going to call it Find Tab because it's kind of like the tab, the extensions tab where you find stuff. But then I was like, eh, that doesn't really make sense. And then I thought, what about Plugin Finder? But that sounds kind of boring. So I was like, ooh, what about Plugin Linker? But that just seemed too long. So I ended up on Plink or Plugin Linker, Plink. I don't know. It's also probably one of the most difficult words to type on a QWERTY keyboard. And just for that reason alone, I might pick a different name, but I don't know. I wouldn't go install this anyways, because <laughs> it's it's kind of crap. So, so far what I have is this plugin, and I actually made a, a backend for this as well. It's a pretty simple backend, but if I uh, switch over to that project, I'm using SST, which I've become a huge fan of SST. If you do anything with AWS, SST is mm, it's good, but anyways. I also have a, a, a small series on that, which I kind of gave up on, and I should probably revisit that at some point in the future. But that aside, um, I just have this little search function right here. It's just the Lambda that I have hosted on AWS. And basically all I did was go to this awesome NeoVim repository that has a list of a bunch of great NeoVim plugins. Honestly, some of them aren't really that great, but it's got a big list of NeoVim plugins and I scraped all those out and stuck them into this plugins.json file. Ignore the stars. That's supposed to be the number of GitHub stars that each of these repositories have so that I can take that into account when trying to determine the relevance of different search results. But I haven't done that yet. So why am I even talking about it? I don't know. I have ADHD just like everybody else on the planet, at least programmers. But anyways, then I'm using this fuse.js library that I found that just does some fuzzy finding on the data in the, the plugins.json file. Then I call this search function right here from inside my Lambda function. And I mean, yeah, it's pretty straightforward. Then I just return a bunch of results. And then over here in the plugin, I have this uh, search function right here that uh, basically just, uh, let's see, I have this API thing. So um, yeah, ignore that. I'm probably, probably gonna have to change that. Well, <laughs> I already published this on GitHub, so it's public anyway. Please don't abuse this URL. But anyways, so I just have this function that makes a REST API call. And then I'm using Telescope, which honestly, <laughs> After working with Telescope, I'm, I'm not sure that Telescope is the right tool for this. I, I definitely just have that feeling that I'm using Telescope in like completely the wrong way here. But regardless, uh, right now I have a key binding so that if I just hit that key binding, then this little Telescope window pops up and I can search for a plugin. So if I want to search for like Harpoon, then I can type in Harp and the Prime Engine Harpoon plugin shows up first on the list because it had the best match and I can search through all these different things. I can also I don't know, change that to like like lazy and now we have like lazy git and lazy nvim uh, lazy dot nvim so yeah it's working so far and eventually i would like to be able to just like hit enter on one of these results and just kind of automatically install those plugins for me so that i don't have to go and like actually type in some some configuration which really isn't like that terrible but i don't know i feel like this would just take it like one extra step to i don't know let me be a more lazy programmer is this something that sounds interesting to you guys and i guess if uh, it's not then <laughs> i don't want to hear about it no I, I i should i should get feedback from everybody no no i shouldn't yeah that's a terrible idea so i guess this is just kind of my uh, pet project right now and i don't know We'll, we'll see where it goes. But I really am interested in hearing what you guys think about this. Is it a good idea? Do you guys have any other ideas for like different features that could go into this? But uh, definitely don't go installing this plugin and expecting it to work. I mean, you can go install it and I don't see how it works. 
at a minimum, it's just a good way to kind of just see a list of stuff that's out there. And I guess on that note, I, I did notice that, uh, see if I search for plugins here, then it looks like there actually is an existing plugin that just has a list of Vim and NeoVim plugins. And I haven't gone and like looked at this plugin to see what it is. Looks like there might be another one here, but I really wanted to have the, the backend component to it because I didn't want to have to force people to like update my plugin to get a new refreshed list of plugins like that felt kind of I don't know backwards to me and people could potentially go and like add their own plugins maybe I could add a front end to it and let people go and put in their own descriptions or instructions on like how to configure it after it's installed or I don't, I don't know stuff like that but the back end component definitely felt like a distinguishing feature of the this plugin idea that I'm currently working on so yeah like I said if you have thoughts comments or anything like that I'm really interested to hear your feedback and yeah I guess <laughs> that's it okay yeah whatever <laughs>